Hey, people. I don't remember what number this is, but it comes after this one. And this is my favorite verse. This is what gave me incentive to learn how to read this. This is going to be five and six. And six was my favorite. And said, Yahweh, indeed, the people are one, and language one, and they have all, and this had, they have begun to do. Now nothing will be withheld from them all that they devised to do. And in the American Standard it says, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language, and this is what they begin to do, and now nothing will be withholden from them, which they purpose to do. And that's what I was, you know. I want to be able to do anything. And so I was going to learn the one language. It seemed like that's what would gave them the ability to do anything is one language. And it says, you know, that he came down and destroyed the one language, but he never said that we couldn't try to get it back. And so I knew in order to get the one language back, I would have to go to the old Hebrew. So in that last movie, I showed you how they used hearsay, the same word they did in line three, but they twisted it up a little bit in which now it read backwards and they also use this word you know for the tower the image there and you see the word after it, arrays a u r a s and so this is the word that they had doubled up in this one that you this now read backwards here to change it they never repeat themselves they always twist in words with these little marks that you don't see they don't teach the rabbis how to read these so this first word here is word w-i-r-d and this is one of those words that they twist around that goes at the beginning that they twist it up to mean many different things with this mark here and this is the first time it comes up like this and the second time you see it's it's changed the mark on top so it's read word erd the word heard and when it and then it changed the next time it's on the bottom and it's and heard and then the fifth time it comes up they put this little Z down here and so now it's the wizard W-I-Z-R-D the wizard and you see how this next word reads where this line is it's the wizard from shaman the wizard from the shaman so when it's like this it tells you to turn around and read it backwards so it's you know, Y W Y and so it's why, meaning how or who, how, and then backwards, W-D, how would, re, R-I, and then read, R-D, how would re-read you, and then the E, uh, allure it to, how would re-read you, allure it to, you know, allure is like when you're fishing, the quality of being powerful and mysteriously attractive or fascinating, Oh, I can't resist, I got to bite it. And powerfully attract or charm, tempt, tempt the fish. And they'll say it's coming from old Latin, add is to, and, and an old French, allure, allure, but that's, that's not true. What is true is it's, uh, it's coming from an old lure to allure, as in originally a falconry term. And it's hard to find any writings in Falcon. I found one old book, but they tried to destroy all those old books. And the one I did find was severely coded. But back when the ancient Greeks was copying the writings off the wall from Egypt, they called this Bastet, 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 the many different names. And the reason so many different names is the same way that the Hebrew Bible is written like that, because it's, it's not gods. Gods are words. You know, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. And so the words are used different ways, but the Greeks called this Aloris, the cat. And the same as her sister was also drawn, you know, as a cat head. You know, and just like a, a fishing lure, where it's got a little rattle in the hand to shake it, to get your attention but in the hobo language you know they'll draw a picture of a cat 
and it means oh a nice lady here will feed you you know he steps off the train and and he sees a, a cat drawn on a on a tree or something he knows that his hobo brother had done been through there and there was a nice lady there that fed him and it's an ancient term and you know you you own a dog but you feed a cat and if there's a cat hanging around it's because somebody's feeding that cat there's a nice lady somewhere feeding that cat cats just don't hang around and you can see it in the ancient letter meanings you know the bind first at the bind first at first you have to allure them in you know to see and so how would reread you allure it to re odal you know to re odal air to re odal odal means air so it's to re air air the odal is the air was passed down and to re odal air what and then backwards what legem what legem your writings your ledges your ledgers you know you often see uh, old artwork of Ptah and up on the ledge up on the shelf all these little karyos you know karyos is the Greek word for lords you know the lords of the hours you know all these lords up here the karyos on the ledge up on the shelf the words on the shelf you know what legem image and then D is the TH the, the image they'll raise backwards RSE the raise and then I'll bend and uh, and that would be Benu a Ben a Ben a Benu a Benny heads a Benu a Benny heads and this is Ben new you know in in cycle new in the new cycles and this is the bends the suns the 12 suns of the year the bends the bings you know Ben new he was a uh, he was a Nephilim he was like six foot six tall this huge old bird that's been extinct somewhere around 4,000 years ago you know Ben new ancient Egyptian deity linked with the sun creation and rebirth you know the new year it may have been the original inspiration for the phoenix you know this on his head this is a a seed you know it's a fertilized flower producing seed and so that one picture means Benu Ben Benu Beni and you know the B is in and then the N is seed and then the I is to make in seed make and it's in the cycle of making seed after the flower's been fertilized you know it's in the cycle be in cycle to make in the seed make it's in the cycle of the seed to make Benu Beni self created played a role in the creation of the world had flown over the waters of none you know none is the masculine and feminine parts of the the renew you know to the Egyptian flood when the Nile flooded it renewed everything and Bennu would fly over landing on a rock and issuing a call that determined the nature of creation also the symbol of rebirth and therefore was associated with Osiris the green and his titles was he who came into being by himself Lord of Jubilees and people don't understand what a jubilee is we have what we call a jubilee tide down here when you don't need a fishing pole or a net or anything all the wildlife they just come to the edge of the beach and you just scoop them up with your hands and what it is it's a red tide and all the oxygen comes out the water so they come right up to the edge of the beach where the where the ripples are splashing and putting oxygen in the water but right after that everything dies out and you have only crabs and eels or anything that could survive with low oxygen and Benu periodically renewed himself like the sun was thought to do name related to rise in brilliance or to shine and when they talk about all this worship the worship had a different meaning back then the church was called a church of a million years 
and it was pronounced honky tonk. And it's the same way I worship. On Sundays, I go to the honky tonk and I listen to the jazz band, drink beer. You know, we used to have honky tonks all up the river down here, but they kind of, they're trying to move them all out. We don't have any anymore. Not close by anyway. I have to travel a ways to get there. But that's the church of a million years. It's honky tonk. It's the Egyptian term for it. So if you've seen the parts that come before this reading down, you know that you know it was talking about how the astrology was getting off and they were re-airing the astrology. They were passing it down, passing it around. And that was this word here. Who yammer, who says to, who says to, who said. They was having to pass the air things around. And so how re-read you allure it to re odle air what legem the image they'll raise a benu of benny heads you know this word for man you know it's the same one they call adam except this isn't a, a m when it's on the end like this it's a s e a d s or h e a d s heads heads and uh and adam is associated with red because when it's red backwards it's matter and matter is where they got red dye from, the matter root. And you'll find in mad, when you're mad, your face turns red. And that's why it's associated. And so, red, blue, and green, you heard of the, the red kachina and the blue kachina. And the blue kachina, everything's nice, it's coming in. And that's the beginning, everything is coming, it's going good. The green light that go. You know, it's young, it's growing. And then at the end of the season, the leaves turn red. You know, and it's and it means... The only difference between blue and red is the, the length of the wavelength. And so a star could be burning the same gas and want to be blue and want to be red. And if it's blue, it means that that star is moving towards you. And it tightens up the wavelengths and it makes a blue light. And when that star is moving away... It, the wavelengths are stretching out. It's like listening to a car coming down the road. You know, it's it's speeding up, and then as it passes you, it's it slows down. The wavelengths are slowing down because it's moving away. It turns red. And how would re-red you? You know, the season of the red again, the end of the season, the dying season. How would re-red you allure it to? And so that's when it's time to re the air, to re the air, to pass them around again. What legem image they'll raise of Benu Beni heads, of Benu Beni heads. And then the, the line here again, it's not just in Yammer, it's, it's how or why, and then where may, how, where may, yes you may, where may, Yammer. How where may yammer? How where may speak to? And so this isn't Yahweh, and it's not even you anymore. Uh, but this is where they get this Yahweh from. You know, they they don't know the meaning of these marks. They just think it means to accent the syllable. And that's why they got this Yahweh. But it, it's not even you. It means to bring this next letter behind before you read it. So it's not you anymore. But it's Jeeves, J E E V E, Jeeve. And how, where may Yammer Jeeve the name? And so Jeeve is an ancient English word that means the valet or the butler. You might have seen it in an old movie where they holler for Jeeves. You know, Jeeves is always the name of the butler. He brings you, he valets everything you want, he brings it to you. Jeeves, you know, and so yammer isn't just to to talk, but it's to make the word from the from the heavens, and how where may yammer to make the knowledge from begin, to make knowledge from begin is to make the words, and not necessarily spoken words, but written words, the jeeve, the valet, to valet to bring it in the name, and this is name. It's, it's E, the, and then 
and then this mark tells you to go to the other end and read it this direction so read it in this direction this is N and then E and then the final N is pronounced as an M you know and it means the cycle or the seed but it's pronounced an M then the name and however may yammer Jeeves to valet the name as A-S the name as Dict D-H A and then it says come back and read the D again is Dict and it means the Dick is you know the on the first day was Dick and it means to dictate to word and so as Dict as as spoken and this is where you get your word speech from they're reading that you know and S-P-E-A-C-H Chet speech but it's it's not it starts with A and it reads backwards and it's it's spathe S-P-E-T-H-A the spathe it you know then come back and read the T again is spathe it and so a spathe is a large sheathing bracket enclosing the flower cluster of certain plants especially the spadix of armus and palms oh Greek spathe you know so this is the spathe but this is the spathe it what's being spathe is the seed the bin the bin the binu bini and it's to spathe it of l of calls k l l k e l l s or k h l l s the calls to use U Z E, and you see this little mark underneath is telling uh, you know where the word stops so you don't read this word wrong and sometimes it's on the other side of the letter and that's just it depends uh, you see how the mark sometimes has two different marks under there to let you know that it's an A and then turns around and it changes up sides the hill he mulls of a shoot you know the H you see they give it the I here H I and then the dot says two L's the hill and then back the other way H E he M L mull to think about S plural he mulls he thinks about of L of a shoot you know, Benu, he was the deity. He was said to have flown over the waters of none that existed before creation, landing on a rock and issuing a call that determined the nature of creation. You know, a kingfisher flying lowly over the watery surface and shrieking loudly would be a reasonable mythical example of the creator deity Atum of Heliopolis as having risen from the first dark waters called none in order to start his creation of the world. If so, this kingfisher, Benu, B-N-U, B-N-U, or Benit, in the cycles connected, in the seed connected, is a good match for the mythical and cultic Nile goose of the creator deity, Amun, in later periods imagined to have him been honking loudly in the primeval dark above the still waters in order to bring forth all creation by its voice. Who where may yammer jeeve to valet the name? The name is the seed life cycle. You know the mark here telling you to read this E N E N the seed life cycle. As dict as spoken to spath it to spathe it you know, to protect the seed of calls, to use the hill he mulls, he thinks about it, of a shoot, you know, the, it's telling you to, to read an extra U in here, of, of O-S-U-U-T, of a shoot, or of a shoe what, you know, a shoe is when God sneezed and created all the stars, I shoo. You know, this is the Ben Ben stone. It's the top of the pyramid. And Ben Ben was mounted that arose from the primordial waters of Nu, upon which the Creator Diddy 
a tomb settled. Ben Ben Stone, also known as Pyramidian, is the top stone of the pyramid, also related to the obelisk. You know, that's the sundial that tells them when to start the year. And they had the writings of Ben Ben up here. You know, they have begun the hill he mulls. He sits on top of the hill and mulls of a shoot, what? Of the stars, what? Sitting up there thinking about the stars. You know, you see the the word for the ancient doctor in there, Ashu, because they was all one and the same. The doctors was astrologers. And look into the salts of salvation if you want to learn something about that. And out the Lorax, rebits by from this call. You know, out and outs. This is where your word vote come from. V o t t e vote. And back in the day, you know, you were when you were voted out. Hey, this this ruler is no good. You didn't so much get voted in. You got voted out. And you were outed. And you got strung up. You were an awful ruler. And they let you know by outing it. You know, to out the information. You've been outed. And out the Lorax. The L-A. You know, you see they give it the L-O. The low. And then backwards and forwards. The Lorax. And then back the other way, the rebits by, rebits to rebits. You know what bits are? They're they're chunks of information. Bits. It's in your computer. The rebits by, and so Lorax is an ancient word, and it means, I speak for the trees. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees, and that's what came out of his mouth. He spoke. You know, he landed on the hill, and he mauls of Ashu, what? Of the stars, what? He thinks about the stars and then out and then what come out of his mouth? The Lorax. I speak for the trees. The trees used to be the gods. Rebits to to reinform. Rebits to reinform by from this, not from them, but from E S T H E S from this. Colors, K L R S. Colors, a jism will as what? From this, colors, a jism will as what? You know, jism is sperm or pollen. And will as what? Do as what you will. Will as what? You know, everything's associated in colors. And this is the beginning of the year here, spring. You know, you're coming up to the end in the red, and then beginning the new year, Pisces. And running the lunar calendar, you know, they had to trim the serpent every year. And you see the cat trimming the serpent in a lot of the ancient paintings. So all together, how would re-red you allure it to? re air, what legem image they'll raise a Benu Beni heads the Benu Beni heads on top of the pyramid and how where may Yammer Jeeve Jeeve to to valet the name as dict as spoken to spath it to spath it of calls to spathe it of calls use the hill he mulls of Ashu, what? The stars, what? To out the Lorax, rebits by. From this call, raised jism will as what? So the colors, the, the call rays, and the cull rays is all the same word. You know, if you want to call something, you you raise call of all the reds. Give me all the reds. I'm calling the reds out. The colors, the call rays. The colors, the call rays, the call rays. All the same thing. And to call rays of chism of the seed. The chism is the seed. The, the sperm is the seed. The mother is the earth. You, know, you plant the seed in the earth. And the colors of jism will as what? 
and I'll figure out what number I'm on on this next one. We got line seven, eight, and nine to finish this up. Alright, I'm gonna cut this off here. Good day.